Hi, I'm Ted Scheffler, City Weekly Dining Editor, and I'm thrilled today to be chatting with Jean-Georges Van Gerichten, uh, creator of celebrated culinary cas castles that span the globe, places like Vong, uh, Jojo, Mercer Kitchen, Spice Market, Lagoon in Bora Bora, Dune in the Bahamas, and of course, Jean-Georges, his namesake signature restaurant in New York City. John George, first of all, did I even get close to pronouncing your name right? You did a great job, amazing <laughs> job. Everybody called me Jean George, so it's okay. Easier. Good. That's <laughs> uh, that's that's my plan. That was yeah, my easier. so. What brings you to uh, to Deer Valley and the Saint Regis? You've developed restaurants all over the world. Why Utah? What brings you here? I mean, we we have a relation now for the last three years with uh, Starwood, so they're the one who approached me about this. Uh, this uh, you know, they showed me they showed me uh, all the pipelines of different hotel they're opening up on. Let me let me pick and choose. So okay. when they say uh, you know ski slope, Utah, Deer Valley, I say why not? So why not? we came to visit, and uh, I'm a fanatic skier as well. Oh, I really? ski since I'm four years old. Really? On uh, usually I was going to Jackson Hole on uh, you know some. I love the Rockies. I like to ski better on this side of the world than uh, in, Euro <laughs> in Europe. In Europe. I don't know. I think the weather is nicer. The snow is better too. So people will be seeing you on the slopes of Deer Valley. Absolutely, absolutely. So I was very thrilled to come here. On a, we put a nice team of chefs together here. So Terrific. very excited. Did you in, encounter any unique challenges, um, sort of migrating the Jean Georges concept and style to the Rocky Mountain, Intermountain West? Absolutely not. I mean, I mean you could see the, the beauty of this uh, hotel here. I mean, the, the spare no, you know, money was no object. So they built the best. You know, the rooms are terrific. The hotel. They use all the local stones, and, uh, and as you can see, they build uh, probably the, one of the best kitchen we have, we'll never have. So I, th I think uh, the challenges were none, none. Yeah, you know, it was just to move uh, on to get a chef up here of mine to come to the Valley and cook. It was not a problem. There was <laughs> there was a waiting list. <laughs> so great. everybody wants to be here. On uh, it's exciting, it's natural beauty here, and it's just uh, we're very excited to be here. Fantastic. Do you plan to incorporate local sort of art artisanal um, ingredients and products, uh, you know, stuff found locally into the J&G Grill menu here? Absolutely. I mean, for me, that's, uh, I mean, you know, the base recipes are what we develop in New York. Mm -hmm. But then for me, the new, new food today, I think the new local is the new authentic food. So we're using already like some local goat cheese and uh, we plan to use uh, some local trout as fish, you know, I mean, we have a, a bison, a, you know, a really? bison on the menu, a bison steak. So we really want to use uh, local farmers on as much as we can. I mean, in winter time is a little more difficult to get, you know, fruits and vegetables. But uh, so those are imported. But uh, we try really to. We have. We just found out somebody who is going to bring us some uh, honey today. Oh, really? Local things, you know. So that's for me. What you know, people coming from all over the world to ski here, yeah. they need to f feel a sense of uh, being local and finding, uh, you know local ingredients and feel the mountain and that's what it's, that's it's about here. Can you talk a little bit, when I think of, when I think of your restaurants and your, your food mm. and uh, your cuisine, I think of, you know, a classic French technique combined with, uh, you were one of the first, I think, to really introduce America, especially to Asian flavors and ingredients. And uh, I don't know if you want to take credit for that. Uh, but you know, you take credit for whatever you can. <laughs> well, how did that happen? I mean, how does a guy from Alsace wind up using ginger and, and I lemongrass? I mean, early in my early day, I've been mean, cooking for 35 years now. On uh, Back in 1980, I, I got an opportunity to uh, travel to Asia, Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. So I spent two years in Bangkok, a year in Singapore, a year in Hong Kong. And about six months in Japan, so when I was uh, early eight, from eighty to eighty-five, so five years in Asia really changes your life <laughs> on, on every level, you know. Right. Because uh, right. I came from France, classically trained, and then going to uh, to Asia for me was like a, a culture shock, mm -hmm. you know. The first time I tasted ginger or lemongrass, or it was like a, I'm a fanatic of chilies, all, all kind of chilies. Of uh, so uh, once you taste those, this, those ingredients, it's impossible to go back. Right. So of course. Born in Alsace, uh, so my, 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 my foundation is, you know, classical, mm -hmm. but then um, I'm using all those uh, spicy and um, spiced ingredients that makes it uh, different, you know? One of my favorite things on the planet <laughs> is chakrut. I know uh, um, any chance we'll ever see chakrut on a Jean-Georges menu? Absolutely, absolutely. Maybe here. <laughs> it's the perfect food for, the, for, 
for the temperature here and for the mountain. So we're thinking about it. That's we were actually uh, going to serve as well a whole chicken for two. Oh, really? If somebody wants to... Uh, it looks like the, the stay here is going to be about four or five days for the people who's coming here. So, you know, they can come here. And I, I wanted to make it a little family style a little bit. And uh, on Shukur is a good idea. Well, I think know? there's nothing better than a properly roasted chicken. I, I know, I know. And we, we're buying a great chicken, uh, the milk-fed chicken. On, uh, just a, for me, that simplicity at its best. You know, and if you have a great quality, free-range bird, on, uh, we just put some potato around, some herbs. And that's, for me, that's real cooking. Fantastic.